session. Uh, we're going to be focusing on a flow called C and Aggie. There's two variations of C and Aggie. All right, that's the only difference is where our hands are. So we're going to concentrate on our feet position and then during the week with Scott and myself later on in the week, we'll look at the difference be between the two throws. All right, so the first thing I need everyone to do is stand up. Nice and straight, head tall, hands by your side. Rick, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a nice quick warm up. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, when I cut the hands, we're gonna sprint on the spot as fast as we can. When I clap them twice, we're gonna stop. We've done this before. All right, so I want you guys to be nice and fast, ready to go. Here we go, ready? Good, excellent, run, 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 run. Let me hear those feet. Good, good, keep going, keep going. Don't stop yet, don't stop. Perfect, okay, so this time, if I point up, what do we do? Excellent, we jump up. If I point to the ground, we touch the ground. Perfect, we've got it. We know exactly what we're doing. We're gonna be nice and quick with this today. Ready? Good, keep running, keep running. Up, down. Keep running, keep running, keep moving. Up, up. Perfect. Okay, we're going through this nice and fast because like I said, we've done this before, we're getting pretty good at this, okay? This time, if I point this way, we're gonna twist our whole body and back. If I point this way, twist our whole body and back. Are we ready? So we still go up, down. Now we've got to the sides as well. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go nice and fast, nice and fast. This way, this way. Down. Keep going, keep going, keep those feet going. Down. That way. Up. Okay. This time we're going to change it. All right, we're going to add on a little bit more. We've still got our sides, still got up and down. But this time, if I put my hands across, you've got to jump and do a big 360. Okay, so a big 360 spin when I cross my arms. Now remember, I want to see your feet, I want to hear you, I want to hear how fast you are with your feet banging off the ground as you're running as fast as you can, okay? Are we ready? Alright. That way. Up. That way. Up. 360. Perfect. Get back. Running, 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 running. This way. This way. Down. Okay. Now we're gonna do that two more times, but we're gonna be nice and fast. They're gonna be sharp, they're gonna be quick, and we've got to make sure we're, we're switched on and we're ready to go from the very, very start today, all right? Here we go. Ready? Good, good, good. Keep running, keep running, keep running. That way, that way. Up, 360. Go on, keep running, keep running, keep running. That way. Take two seconds, we're going to get a little break and then we're going to go again. Big deep breath. Ready. Let's go, let's go nice and fast, nice and fast, nice and fast. That way. That way. That way. Up. Down. 360. That way. Up. 360. Excellent. Okay. Everyone, get a little bit of Mizu and meet back here, ready for the next part of our warm. Okay, so we're moving on now. Like I said, it's going to be nice and quick to start with because we want to get right into this C and Aggie movement. All right, but everyone, we need our belt, which this week is our word of the week. The word of the week is Obey. Okay, so your Obey 
is your belt. Everyone should have their OB on. If not, because you have to use it on the floor, that's okay, we understand. All right, but we're looking for our OB. Now, belts on the floor, we're gonna start on one side. Now we're gonna work on our legs today because we're using them for when we do our Sinagi and we're gonna be really driving with our feet for this throw. Okay, so the first one, we're gonna be kangaroo jumps. On our tiptoes, little bend in our knee, and we're just gonna jump all the way down to this end. Once we get to this end, we turn, we come back up, we're gonna go, that's one, once you've gone there and back, that's one, we're gonna go four times. Okay, let's get ready. Starting at the top, here we go. All the way down our belt, the journey. Good. So that's one, let's go, keep going. Now back to the top. Now that's two. Keep working, keep working. A little bend of your knees, head up. That's three. And let's get our last one in, all the way to the end, all the way back. Perfect, okay. This time, still with our legs, we're gonna use kangaroos, but our kangaroos gonna go side to side, okay? So from here, we're gonna jump on either side of the OB. Scott has done this one before, so we're gonna do that one again. This time, instead of working for reps, we're gonna work for time. Okay, so we're gonna go for 30 seconds this time. So, starting at this end, and just going side to side. Once you get to the top, we just turn around, and we come back, side to side. 30 seconds, okay? Standing at the end of the belt, like a kangaroo, get ready. Three, two, one, hajime! Good, keep bouncing now, either side of the belt. Keep that good posture, head up tall, jumping across. Perfect, we're about halfway now, let's keep going. Okay, let's come on, last five seconds, let's keep it going. Mate, excellent. Okay, the next one. So we've done kangaroos going forward, we've done kangaroos going sideways. This time, our kangaroo is going backwards. Okay, so backwards, all the way to the top. Once you get to the top, turn around, back again. Okay, this time we're going back to our numbers game and we're going four reps of this one. So four there and back, that's one. We're going to go four times through. Are you ready? Standing at the end of the belt, on your toes, and then we're going backwards. Could you make? Keep going, guys. Keep your head up. That's one. Keep going. You guys keep working. Good, good, good. Keep going backwards. That's two. Keep your head up, keep good posture. Three, last one. Four, excellent. Okay, last exercise like this. My least favorite, but we've sometimes got to do our least favorite ones so we get better. Okay, we're going for a duck walk. So squatting down as low as we can, we're going to have our hands up like our wings this time and we're going to waddle like a duck all the way to the end. Okay, now we're going to go for 30 seconds again, so we're going back to time this time. Okay, so when I say hajimi, you're going to waddle all the way to the top, then waddle back down and keep going until I say stop. Are you ready? Excellent. 
in your duck position. Three, two, one, Hajime! Excellent, keep it up. Try and keep your hands up beside your chest like wings almost. Don't put your hands on the ground. Good, good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. About halfway now, let's keep it up. Last 10 seconds. Keep this good posture. Keep moving, keep walking. And Matty. Excellent. Okay, everyone. Let's get some Mizu and let's get our Obis out of the way just now. Excellent. Now, so some of you may remember we looked at Sienagi a little bit right at the very start of all these online sessions. Myself and Scott worked on it a little bit and I used the superheroes to explain it. Now we're not going to use the superheroes today because I think you guys have already got that locked down. So if you need to, you can use your superheroes to imagine it. Alright, right now, as you can see, Bob is back, okay, and he's got his flip-flops on the mat. Okay? Alright, so we're going to use the flip-flops like our guide on where we want to be. So, if we imagine we're standing in front of our partner, we've got lapel, we've got sleeve, okay? Now, we're going to use our arms like Ippon Sinagi today, okay? So, we're, we let go and we punch underneath our partner's armpit on our first step. So, from here, sleeve and lapel, we're letting go with the lapel hand, taking our first step in and we're punching our arm underneath our partner's armpit. So if you guys are watching, it's like here. Okay? From there, we're going one, my back leg is gonna spin round two, and then I pivot on my uh, first leg again, makes the first step. My chest is up, I've got a bend in my knees, and my arms are up, ready to deliver that power. Okay? So watch again. From here, lapel, sleeve. We're letting go of lapel, punch under on our first step. Now, pivot round like a ballerina, and we just correct our first foot, bending our knees, chest up big, ready to go. Now, what's going to happen is you guys are going to do 10 just like that, okay? 10 nice and slow and nice and controlled to my count. That's slow and that controlled to start with. Okay, now I'm going to count to 10 in Japanese. Every time I say the number, you're going to do a nice Ikon Sinagi just like that. Are you ready? Let's go. Each. Good. Knee. San. She. Go. Now, we're halfway just now, okay? So let's remember, chest up big, ready, and my head's looking up just now, straight ahead of me, with a bend of my knees, ready to deliver that power. Okay, let's finish this set off. Rock. Hitch. Hatch. Cue. June. Excellent. Okay, so now that we have the turn for our Sinagi, whether it would, whether it's our Epon Sinagi like we're doing today, or whether it's Marathi Sinagi, okay, the the finish of the throw is very important because lots of people think that when we finish, we just push our hips back straight and we fold in half. All right, but that's not the case. When we're doing Epon Sinagi. It's important that when I've got my partner on my back and I'm ready, I have to rotate and twist and look behind me. 
So now we're going to look at that. So this time we're only going to do five, but when we do it, we have to go punch under, turn, pivot with the last foot in a strong position. We're going to straighten our legs, push our bums back, and we're going to twist and look behind us. Okay? So if I do it this way here, when I twist, I keep twisting the same direction and I look behind me to finish the throw. Okay, so we're only going to do five this time. Are you guys ready? Okay, big twist to finish. Get ready. Each knee. San, she, go. Excellent. So we're a little bit faster now as well, okay? Okay, so for the next part, you guys are going to try and get that speed up a little bit more, all right? So we're going to look at trying to get as many Ippon Sinagi Uchikomis in 30 seconds as possible okay and i want you guys to try and video this and send your results to the club so we can watch them as well okay so we're trying to get as many hit points in Aggies as we possibly can now i'm going to time it to make sure there is no cheating so that everyone has my timer as their guide are we ready so nice and quick trying to focus on the three steps and the hand movement where we're punching our hands under, ready in a good strong position to deliver that power at the end. Okay, are we ready? On my count, I'm going to say Hajimi, and when I say Matty, you've got to remember the number and send us in so we know how many you guys got. Now, my challenge is to all the coaches as well. Okay, not just our, our young players. I want some of the coaches. I want Scott, I want Alex, Jason, Billy the Boss. Let's see who's got the fastest in the whole club. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hajime! Right, good speed now. Keep it up, keep it up. We're 10 seconds in. That's halfway. Come on now, you guys can keep going. I can see it. Last couple. Let's try and get a few more in. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Matty. Okay, perfect. Everyone, grab yourself some Mizu. Okay, I'm really, like I said, I'm excited to see some, what some of the coaches and the older players got, some of our, our full-time athletes. Okay, I want to see your scores as well. But the most important thing is when we do this stuff, that we don't want to lose our technique, okay? So, although that's a little bit fun and a little bit of a challenge for you guys, when we're doing it properly, I never want to see us losing our technique and doing it bad and being lazy, all right? What I want to see is every time you do the judo throw, so the F1 Sinagi, it's in a nice strong position. And if you had an uki, you could throw them every single time. Okay? So really, really good work. Now, we're going to finish off with a little stretch and a little cool down. So what I need is I need you to find a space. Okay? The first one we're going to do is we're going to start off in a nice squatting position here. Okay, trying to keep our backs up because this is like our Shinagi, but it's just exaggerated. Okay, so we're in a nice squatting position. We're going to keep our chest up and we're just going to sit here for 10 seconds. 
Okay, stretching everything, keeping our feet flat on the floor. Excellent. Now, as you come up, I want you to bring your feet together, straighten your legs, and you're going to reach up nice and tall, and then fall forward, and try and touch your toes. I'm not very flexible just now, okay, but we're reaching for our toes. That legs nice and straight. Excellent. Stand the back up straight. Okay, we're going to put one leg out wide. Second leg out even wider, touching the ground here. Good. Walking our feet back in. And we're going to go through those three stretches again. So, legs just a little bit, shoulder width apart. Nice. Good squat, keeping our chest up nice and big, keeping our stretch. Then up straight, feet together, reach up, and then fall forward from the waist. We're folding at the waist, trying to catch our toes. And then up, leg wide, leg wide, touching the ground. Excellent. Walk your feet in, shake your legs off a little bit. Fix your kit. Perfect. So, really good session today. Monday done. Take it off. Alright, we're back here again on Wednesday evening with Scott. Alright, and I can't wait to see where he takes this session because his brain just goes off in different crazy places and he has some pretty cool ideas. So, I'm excited to see Scott's session. Now, remember, our word of the week is Obey. It's our belt, okay? So, we need to remember that. Because we all know, like I said before, Billy the Boss likes a nice, neat and properly tied obey. So that's something we can work on as well. Alright, so our obey is our belt. So, all we've got to do is finish off. So feet together, hands by your side, head tall. Right. Excellent, guys. 